NIOS welcomes you in this educational video for subject Library and Information Science. Code 339 Senior Secondary Level Lesson number 6 Types of Information Sources. This video is part 8. In this video, we will understand the difference between books, pamphlets, and manuscripts. Let us now understand the concept of books. Point 1. A book is a written or published document with at least 49 text pages that convey ideas or information. So it is important to remember the number of pages needs to be at least 49 for a book. Point number two, pages of the book are joined together along one side called the spine and the two covers are joined by hinges to the spine. Point number three, books can be either hard bound or soft bound and hard bound books usually have a cover made of cloth, plastic or leather over cardboard with paper cover jacket added to protect the cover. Here you can see the parts of a book with cover, spine, hinges. We discussed the concept of books. Now let us understand pamphlets. A pamphlet is an unbound printed publication with no cover or with paper cover. A pamphlet has a minimum of five pages and a maximum of four pages, exclusive of the cover pages. Now this is the third topic which we discussed in the beginning of the video. It is manuscript. Manuscript is the original version of a document 
that an author writes or types using a typewriter or computer and can include books, articles, or any other written work. It is used to distinguish the author's original version from the printed copy. Let us now understand the book types. Books are significant resources for information and libraries acquire them according to the requirement of their users. Based on content, books can be simple or composite, single volume or multi-volume, fiction or non-fiction a textbook or a treatise. Books can also be in print or non-print format, such as audiobooks, video books, multimedia books, and e-books. Now you can see the image. It has different types of books. First one is simple versus composite books. Then single volume versus multi-volume book. After that, reference book. Next to it is fiction versus non-fiction book. Another kind of books are textbook versus treatise. And the last box indicates treatises. Now there, now here we will understand what is inside a book. Inside the front cover of a typical book is a collection of pages called preliminary material, which includes title page, copyright page, acknowledgement page, dedication page, preface and table of contents. This is followed by the body of the book, that is the text. At the end of the text are pages containing glossary, bibliography and index. Thank you. 
this is in continuation of the preliminary. Point one is the title page. The page at the beginning of the book usually contains the title of the book, name of the authors and the publisher name. Point two is the copyright page. Copyright page contains the name of the publisher and date of publication. Point three, acknowledgement page. Acknowledgement page expresses author's gratitude to person who helped him or her to write the book. Point four is the dedication page. Dedication page tells to whom the author dedicates the book. Point five, preface. Preface also called foreword or introduction, where the author states the aim of writing the book and describes its important features. Point six, table of contents lists the content arranged by chapters with their page numbers. Now this is the last part of the lesson. Text. Point one, text. The body of the book, which is usually divided into units or chapters. Point two, glossary. Lists of important words used in the book together with their meaning. Point three, bibliography. List of books, articles, etc., used by the author as sources of information. Point four, index. Alphabetical list of names of persons, places, and topics discussed in the book. With their corresponding page numbers. Thank you.